Hello everyone, uh, back with another tutorial for the Pokemon uh, in Maya and Unity battle game tutorial series uh, where I've basically made a bunch of these assets, threw together a little Pokemon battle video game and I'm making this uh, freely available uh, for people that want to increase their Unity and Maya skills uh, and people that want to start to mod this. So, probably the most fun that I've had and like the, the learning experience I guess I've found the most useful uh, well, one of the learning experiences I found most useful while working on this project the last few weeks was creating attacks for the Pokemon game. So let me show you what I mean. For example, if I enable Ivysaur's Razor Leaf and simulate it, so th there's one of the attacks. Now these attacks are only simulated, obviously, when the player chooses to use the attack or the enemy's attacking. But I'm going to show you um, basically how to make these sort of attacks. I'm just going to take you through one by one. We have Squirtle's Bubble Attack. Right, and all of this was done within Unity itself. The one disclaimer I do have is that the uh, Ivysaur Razor Leaf effect, if I do this again, if I just show you it, uh, these leaves were made in Photoshop. Uh, so sometimes you may need some sort of custom image editor. Photoshop CS2 was free. I'm not sure. I think Adobe changed that because I was looking to download another copy of it on one of my other computers. And uh, it, it looked like it wasn't there anymore for some reason. It looked like they had changed that. Um, but if anybody knows where I could get CS2 for free legally, if they just did change the location of that, but they're still offering it, uh, please leave that in the comments below, because that would actually, our viewers would probably like to, to still be able to get CS2, uh, Adobe Photoshop CS2 for free legally. Uh, I'm not sure why Adobe would have changed that in the past few weeks, because uh, it, it was up there for a few years. Um, but anyway, here's Pikachu's Thunder. So like I was saying, uh, you may need to add some custom graphics, but other than that, everything can be done in Unity that I'm showing you, especially if you're not looking for the most uh, high quality stuff. You're not going to have to bring in a lot of custom graphics from Photoshop. And there's some even better stuff you could do with Unity. I was just starting out and just wanted to play around with the particle system in Unity. So you could, like I said, if you're not going for like professional grade quality, if you just want to make some attacks that look, you know, like the attack's supposed to represent, you know, shockwaves shooting out these waves, very easy to do in Unity. It, you know, it's a couple minute job at most once you get the hang of the particle system. Charmeleon's Flamethrower. You'll notice how I did a fade, like a color over lifetime effect there. So, um, one thing I should mention about the particle system, here's the Fire Blast, uh, is that these, uh, the particle system is composed of a bunch of parameters. Each of these things, emission, shape, those are all parameters. Within each of those parameters, there's also, sorry, modules. Each of those things is a module. Within each of those modules is the parameters here that you could change uh, to affect the certain these certain uh, visual effects. So let's see, Dialga Dragon Breath. So what you'll see here is a blue, uh, some sort of blue transition there, and it's higher up. The reason it's higher up is because Dialga is higher up. He's a taller character. So I really went in and I just made sure that each, like I went in by hand and made sure each of these particle effects was like lined up with the, the mouth or the attack point of the Pokemon using them. So that's Hollow Sacred Fire. I The reason I used a white to red transition there was I was trying to make it where it did it wasn't just like a copycat of these Flamethrower and Fire Bless. I think that's all of them. If I, if I missed one, I'm sorry about that, but I'm pretty sure I covered most of the uh, attacks. The, oh, uh, another really cool one I want to show you guys. So how did I do the attack where you change the skybox material? Good question. The way that I did that, and for those of you that don't know, that didn't watch my last tutorials, uh, what I'm talking about, I'll show you really quick. So we have our start scene, save our changes, start the game, uh, I'll show you hollows, we'll do it that way. I summon Hollow. My opponent summons Pikachu. And then, okay. So if I choose Sunny Day here, watch what's going to happen. I'm going to pause it. See that? Notice the skybox changed, right? So you'll you'll notice here that the skybox changed, right? It went from that. Um, I'll unpause it so you'll see. So this is the sunny sky right now. When the camera changes again. It transitions back to that to that starry sky. So how did I do that? Well, the way that I did that, it's I think it's one line of code. 
you're setting render settings dot skybox equal to the material of the other skybox so here's literally the line of code it's literally let's see the skybox material oh that's in this folder so this is the skybox that I was changing to literally I applied this to material or actually I don't even think I did that I just yeah this is I think this is just this is sky yeah this is skybox material in and of itself I believe so all I had to do was uh, drag and drop this I made I wrote public material at the top of my script let me see if I could find the script um active Pokemon turn based system here we go so this is by far the largest script in the game Let's see what are we at right now with this script 842 lines of code now that's including white space but yeah I, I made this kind of big it's not the most efficient code but like I said school for me is starting in a few days uh, and I, I was running out of time with this I have a few other game projects going on right now a lot of portfolio stuff that uh, I'm creating because soon I'll be graduating and looking for a job in the game industry so I wanted to get this to you guys uh, sooner rather than later um, so that uh, anybody starting out in unity can start building off of what I've done playing around with it and really just having a good time learning so here is attack two is where it is and ho -Oh is going to active pokemon dot player player canvas stuff squirtle health dot enabled equals false active pokemon enemy so maybe it's not there so then oh here it is so it's under player attack in progress so if they chose attack two because we know they didn't choose attack one so attack one is the first button attack two is the second button uh... if if ho -Oh is the player's active pokemon we're going to render settings dot skybox equals sunny day mat or the sunny day material right and this if we go up here to the top of our code our sunny day material is simply a public material that we dragged in so what I did was I just went uh, in that scene and I just drag and dropped it from our assets folder to our in the place in our inspector so one final thing I want to show you before I end this particular tutorial I want to show you how I embedded uh, the thunder and the lightning for Pikachu so you'll notice that this bottom part is the lightning the top part is the cloud for Pikachu so you could have multiple particle effects parented to one another um, also to go through some of these settings you'll notice I have an emission I have a shape that I want to be emitted for the cloud I chose a hemisphere um, color over lifetime I want it to fade from like whitish grayish um, so if, if you take a look at that again see how it fades from like a lighter gray to a darker gray almost to a black out there so that's sort of how you could start to make your particle effects look uh, a little bit realistic and start to give your game some depth so that's about it for the effects tutorial um, in the next tutorial I'm gonna go over more of that turn-based system script and explain to you a little bit more of how I program this game thank you for watching